Good evening, everyone. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hope I just am um, um, doing a live streaming in, um, in the right place. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. I'm back here in the church. Good evening, Ron. Oh, gosh. Sorry, I was a couple of minutes late. Good evening, um, Carol. Good evening, Ronnie. Hey. All usual suspects. <laughs> Good evening, Maureen. Rebecca. Kathy. Hi, all, she says. Um, yeah, Janice. Oh, well, I can see. Um, Sharon. Good evening, Sharon. Welcome, welcome. Oh, we have Mustafa. Good evening, Mustafa. And Ryan. Lord Arnold, sir, Vicky is with us. Ah, oh, welcome, welcome. Now I'm so glad to see, glad to see that um, um, this, you know, the comment sections is working properly. Good evening, Hannah. Welcome. Hey. Oh gosh. Oh, I've been quite busy. Why? Well. You know, it's a Monday, isn't it? A Monday, boring Monday. I know some of you may say, well, is there any big difference in between Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday? Everybody's, every day is the same. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Good evening, Lynn. Keith, welcome. Yeah, but, you know, hey, my wife. Hello, my wife. <laughs> Janice, uh, Janice is with us. Yeah, but still, Monday is Monday. Yeah, so... I have to actually um, entertain you. That's how I felt. So I, I came here in the church because... Um, <laughs> Ronnie said, Oh, Father Tavin, um, you know, um, you're always busy. Yeah, but you know, sometimes I pretend that I'm really busy. But <laughs> Shh, don't tell my bishop. <laughs> but anyway, yes, I came here to find something that I can use to... to entertain you. I was really busy in, in kind of the last couple of minutes, you know, the wild Hannah today did um, how many? How many? Wow! 12,500 steps today. Yeah, while you are doing that, Hannah, I've been just running here. <laughs> Only a couple of steps, but, um, well, by the way, it's been a long journey since from my home to get to the church. It takes a while, you yeah. know. <laughs> but anyway, so since it's Monday um, the night, I thought it might be good for me to find something to entertain you. Gosh, I feel I'm so good. I, tr I, I, I think I'm, I'm a hell of a good vicar anyway. <laughs> but, <laughs> good evening, Nora. <laughs> oh, my church warden is here, so I should be careful. <laughs> but I remembered... I remember what Dave Jenner said, um, you know, last night. He showed us, not showed me, but he showed us, you know, the um, um, small ring, the uh, brass ring. Um, because in the church, usually in, in the church, um, we have church wardens, um, you know, the wand. It's kind of a long stick. And then that is for the, um, um, the church warden to use like this. Can you see this one? Like this. If we have a distinctive guest, such as Bishop, um, they hold this. Oh gosh, it's quite long. Church wardens, two of them, they hold this. But this wand, it is not to, um, for them to wake someone up. Oi, oi, don't fall asleep during the sermon. Don't fall asleep. Or be quiet. No, this is not for this. This is the symbol of the authority. Ah, now I can see Dave Jenner having a big smile on his face. <laughs> yes, this is um, the Church of Warden's wand that we have. And then what th the ring that the Dave Jenner showed us um, you know, last night is the ring that we use here next to the chair and then the bottom. So... Somewhere at the back of the church there, 
after this statue, um, statue of um, Sacred Heart of Jesus, somewhere here, we dedicated two chairs, one in the north and one in the south. And then they have got the ring on the top of the, um, um, the back and then one in the bottom. So you can slide in these sticks there, bang. And then, let's say this is nave, these two poles stays there, yeah? And then, I'm going to ask you a question, whether um, you will know this or not. If I show you this, there are two different heads. One, I can't really show you because it's quite long. <laughs> this is the bishop's mitre, yeah? bishop's mitre. And then another one has queen's crown. Yeah? Can you see the difference? One goes to one side, and the other one goes to the other side. So I'm going to now give you, <laughs> give you a quiz. If you got it right, we will find someone who got the right answer, and then I will give this one, oh, actually two of them, as a gift. Lovely note. It says, today is the day I make some notes. Hey, lovely. This is a note, handmade note by Lee Osborn. And you remember that, um, you know, we, we gave this, you know, one of the notes out, and then Rebecca Igunjobi got one. And then he actually um, donated three more notebooks. It's beautifully done, as you can see here. It's all handmade, and inside it's beautiful. So I will give to the person who got it, who got the answer right, this notebook, and a lovely olive wood holding cross. Yeah. So with this, I would suggest, of course, you know, it's, it's up to you, it's up to the winner, but I think you can use this book as your prayer notebook. How we can use uh, the prayer notebook, depending on, it's up to you, but you're going to write a date, yeah? You're going to write a date or someday. And then you write it down, things that you need to pray for. It has a beautiful line here. So, number one, pray for my diet. <laughs> Two, pray for my diet. <laughs> Three, pray for my diet. Whatever. You just write it down, the list of the prayers here, and then you just keep praying. And then if you think you have answer from the Lord, whether that's a yes or no, maybe if I just put it as, um, um, okay, Lord, um, today, tonight I need to pray for my diet. Lord may say, God may say, okay, Taimin, you really need to do it. Yeah, that, that's a clear answer. But he may say, oh, you are actually absolutely fine. Just enjoy your eating, drinking. Don't forget to have some cheese and, and red wine every day. <laughs> My wife is going to say something, but who knows? He may say yes. He may say no. Or he may say, oh, just wait for a second. Wait for my time. Yeah? So whatever the answer that you have, you just delete that if you think you got the answer. And then you don't need to actually do this every day. Once a week, and the next week, let's say Sunday evening, next page, you got the date, and then you know, Sunday something, and then you check the previous page. Oh, well, actually, I've got um, number one, three, five answered, so two, four, six, eight, blah, 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 and the number 10. And then you write it down, then again, you transfer these unanswered prayer here. And then you pray for these prayers for this week. And then the next Sunday, you do that again. Oh, done. 
answered, 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 or non answered, you just transfer it from this page to the next page. You may have a new entry, that's absolutely fine. You keep this note as your prayer record, if you want. If you already have one, that's even better. You may use as a pure just note. But if you don't have any prayer note, I will suggest you use this notebook for your prayer notebook, and then whenever you pray, you hold this cross. It's, it's beautiful. It's olive wood and the holding cross. Once you hold it, it has a very strange angles, but they are so smooth. Oh, it looks shiny, actually, it looks nice. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so, if you got the answer right, what I'm going to do is um, I will, um, I'm going to ask Ronnie to check the contents later, and then if you have anyone who got the um, uh, answer right, and then Ronnie will send me the list of the people, and I'm going to print their names out, and then just randomly, randomly doing it, and then probably I'm going to ask my son to pick one. And then the winner gets this gift. Okay? Is it clear? Because I don't want to have, I don't want to get involved with any sort of, you know, criticism. Oh, the father Tommy has a favoritism on someone, you know. Oh, you know, he he intentionally picked, you know, um, you know, Ryan, you know, um, why, why? Oh, because, you know, he knew that he may actually get, um, you know, um, the lovely, um, you know, the bottle of, you know, the cider or something. No, no. I have to be honest, in front of my Lord. <laughs> so to eliminate um, all the um, um, you know, suspicious and conspiracy, and then I'm going to ask my son to pick one. And I'm going to actually record that as a part of my video. And then you will actually see who's going to be the answer. So the quiz is now, quiz is, we have two different heads. One, bishop's mitre. The other one is Queen's Crown. Which way it stands? Bishop's Mitre, South, and then um, this, you know, the crown on the north side, or the other way around. Bishop's Mitre, North side and Queen's Crown South side. Yeah, it's one way ar around. Okay? I'm going to repeat the question again. We have two different things. Which one is the correct position? I'm now facing the east now, and then behind me that's west. So if I hold this one here in this side, this is the south side of the church, and this is ooh north side of the church. So, is this a correct angle or is this the correct position? Which one is the correct position? Now, I will give you a couple of minutes to think about and then I want you to leave a comment. Yes, Dave Jenner, you said right, 50-50 chance, 50-50 chance. Um, if you don't leave any comment, that's, you, don't, you won't be able to have a chance to win this lovely prayer notebook and then holding cross, beautiful ones. So I'm going to leave it down here. But anyway, let me say something about um, you know, the, um, the church warden's position. Church, church wardens, they are very interesting people. And then church wardens, um, their authority is not coming from, not coming from the vicar. In more than um, Church of England law, um, sometimes you know the, the church wardens, it's, it's elected position. It is not appointing. It's elected position. So um, you have to be elected. So Dave Jen and Iris Salima has been elected, yeah, and then. That is, um, that is an interesting thing, but their actual authority and then, then their counterpart is, of course, you know, their vicar. So, in terms of for them um, to be in that list for the um, elections, 
they must have, well, especially here, that's what we are following, they must have um, um, you know, joint consent from the vicar. Because, well, what if church wardens, two church wardens, completely against the vicar, and then whatever they discuss, they can't find any answer? In that case, that, that combination is not going to do any good for the parochial church council, and that is not good for the church, not good for the people. So they must have some sort of, you know, a supporting network, and then they must have a good relationship not only over the pint of Dumba, <laughs> usually that works, you know, I have to say, but um, their authority is mainly coming from actually the bishop. So when I say, oh, this is my church wardens, of course, you know, this is our church wardens, I'm a vicar, so I can say that it's my church wardens, but at the same time, they are the bishop's church wardens. So I am here because bishop cannot be here in this church and that in the church, in that church at the same time on Sunday morning. So instead of he being here, he sent me to be in charge of this spiritual stuff. And then that's why when I was inducted, and then he said this, receive this cure of soul. In Latin, and that's a cure. And that's why sometimes you know, the priests or the vicars, people used to call it curate. Send down your Holy Spirit upon the bishops and curates. That's what the, um, you know, um, this Book of Common Prayer says. So in that context, the curate means the priest. Yeah. So, and then, um, so the, the bishop's authority is actually coming down to the church wardens as well as a supporter and a guardian, chief guardian of the bishop's office. So the church wardens, they hold the keys, and then legally the church wardens can say, this is my church, because, of course, you know, this is people's church, this is God's church. Hello, everyone, who just, you know, logged in. You know, I'm just explaining um, a bit, you know, the boring stuff. So if you feel, oh, no, 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 that's a bit boring, just, just you know. Go somewhere. <laughs> no, no, I'm only joking. <laughs> so um, church wardens have, and um, they hold enormously important roles within the church, and also, um, you know, they hold some, you know, high level of, you know, authority. And then um, our church warden, Dave Jenner, as you know, it is our, it's, we are so lucky because, you know, having, um, you know, Dave Jenner, someone like Dave Jenner, who holds, um, you know, great will to serve the church with people and who has got a sense of humor, that is important. But anyway, that's why, Church wardens hold this church wardens wand. And then again, I'm going to repeat this quiz again. We have crown and bishop's mitre. Which one goes where? Bishop's mitre in the north and then um, in the queen's crown um, in the south or the other way around. Yeah? And then if you leave your answer and then I'm going to... Um, Give, um, announce the, um, um, you know, the, um, um, the answer and I'll explain why. And then one winner, which will be picked up by um, our new MC, the Master of Ceremony. MC means Master of Ceremony in our liturgical context. My son, eight years old, will pick one name, the winners, and then the winner will get this lovely notebook and then holding cross. How to use it? Rewind. Rewind. Now, people, um, now it's um, nearly 20 past um, the 10, so I think you have enough time, enough time to think about yeah, which one goes where. Yeah? <laughs> um, Susan, yes, it, it, it's a lovely. When you hold these holding cross, they are so comfortable. It has a lovely angles, but strangely enough, in which way that you hold, it, it just stays in, in your palm. It's, that's why we call it holding cross. So, as David Jenner said earlier, it's a 50-50. Um, let's say Bishop's Mitre and then Queen's Crown. Which one goes where? Which one stands, goes to um, um, you know, the south? Which one goes to the north or south? 50-50. Pick one. Okay. Now, soon, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to stop the counting. Yep. 
Last chance, last chance, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Good. Now, I'm going to give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop it! <laughs> no more entry, no more entry, please. No more entry, please, people. Now, time to reveal the truth. I'll give you the answer first. I said this is south, this is north. The right answer is Bishop's mitre goes to the south, Queen's crown goes to the north. Who got the right answer? Who got the right answer? Now, um, the Ronnie, Ronnie, you, you have to count that and write it down the names. You don't need to actually do it now. You can just um, you know, email me later, okay? Now, but there is a reason why Bishop's Mitre goes to the south and why Queen's Crown, this one, goes to the north. Now, I will tell you something. I may actually explain um, this again. If you see that altar, I can actually swap the camera so that you can see. Come on, yes. There is a candle, there are candles, yeah. There is a cross in the altar. I'm talking about not the big ones, the small ones in the center. We have candle on the right hand side and that is the south side because we are now facing east. This is not the mirror image, this is, um, this is okay. And then one on the left, that is a north side. When you light the candle, which is the correct order? Yeah? Do I need to light the candle on the left first and then right? Or should we actually light the candle on the right hand side and then left? South or north, which one comes first? And in the traditional way is, we always light the candle here south first, and then you light the candle. Yep. And, and now, now we finished our service. Now you have to put off the candle. In what order do we have to distinguish, extinguish the, um, um, the candle? We blow this candle first. To focus, we blow this candle first and then we blow this candle. What if, what if we have more than two candles or four or sometimes usually six candles? Ah, imagine that. If there is one, two, three, four, five, six candles, this is the number. This is how we actually are supposed to light the candle. From the center, one, two, three, and then from the center, four, five, six. So now you can actually see the logic. When we light the candle, more than two candles, you always begin from the center. In the center, what do we see? Cross, isn't it? Yeah, cross. So when, if we light the candle from the center to the right, one, two, three, and that means, oh, the light of Jesus is spreading out to the south. And then, again, we light the candles on the left-hand side, from the center to the outside. So, again, one, two, three, and four, five, six. When we put off the candle, we do it the other way around. So we use a sniffer, so we just blow the candle number six, five, four. So when you, at the end of the service, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's how we put off the candle. Now, back, back to me, me, it's again. So if you see the south side, and the north side, there's a big distinction. Nowadays, we don't have that distinction very much. If you are gentlemen, if you are ladies, you don't need to actually 
segregate yourselves and are sitting in the, in the north or south. But in olden days, still, still, some part of, you know, some countries like Poland, in the very sort of rural Poland, in, um, you know, in Catholic traditions, some people still do this, still do this. Gentlemen, gentlemen, sit, they sit in the south. And then the ladies sit in the north. Very strange, isn't it? And then therefore, if you see two items here, bishop's mitre, bishop, priest, used to be only men. Well, actually, um, in Church of England and then um, other denominations, um, Protestant denomination, you can be ordained minister as a man and women. That's absolutely fine. So it, it is not working. But still, there is a reason why we still use this mitre, which is symbol of bishop's authority, goes to the south, and then the queen, this crown, goes to the north. When we count, when we see the north and south in the liturgical actions, we always count south first and then north. We, we sometimes see the south as the beginning of the life and then the north as the end of lives. So if you come to the St. Julius or in quite many places, you will see the altar of repose, the small table, small altar dedicated to those who have gone before us, we normally put this altar on the north side of the church. Hence, in St. George's Church, we use the altar of repose to that side. And then you will remember, if you just returned and then rewind, not rewind, if you just search another, you know, um, the Facebook live streaming that we did, uh, I explained, I did you know, kind of a virtual tour of, you know, St. George's Church. I explained, I showed you the three prayer points. And then you will remember the altar of repose is the last one. And then that is, if you see the east, that is in the north. And then that's why we keep the bishop's mitre on the south side, and then this Queen's one in the north side. And then when you have, if you are lucky to have one male church warden, one female church warden, nice combination like we are, you know, and then who is going to hold where? Who is going to stand? Haha, -ha. gentlemen, Dave Jenner will hold this one, and then he will stand on the south side, and Iron Salima. Being a female church warden will hold this one and then she will stand the north side and then they will escort the bishop. If we have a bishop, you will remember this, um, whenever we do a confirmation class, we invite our bishops to come and then when he comes and then um, the church wardens are going to escort not me but the bishop because they are the source of their authority. Now, I think I explained everything really well. <laughs> I know some of you may think, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit boring. But, you know, I'm sure um, not many of you have heard this and then and, and why. Oh, by the way, if you are really um, the love, you know, traveling, if you had a chance to go to um, Oxford, um, not in the city of Oxford, the east side of Oxford, that's, um, um, I forgot, um, yeah, if you see, um, if you drive from M40 and then A40, you drive to the, um, um, you know, um, Oxford, before you reach the um, Modelling College Bridge, before that, there is um, a hill, and then that's where um, the um, um, Oxford Brooks University is. And if you, um, if you are coming down that way, and then um, it's not really far from the Oxford, for um, Oxford Brookes University, there is a local parish church. And if you go to that um, parish church, you will see the north windows, the windows in the north side of the church is decorated, it's beautiful stained glass there. It's decorated by all the female saints. I mean, but if you see the south side of south windows, they're all decorated by male saints. That's how wonderful. And then, um, yeah, that is, that is really interesting things. So um, whenever you go to the church, there is always reason 
why we do things in certain ways. So, and then I'm quite happy to explain that to you. And then when probably, um, yes, Headington, no, not, not Headington, not Headington. Um, where was it saying Stephen's house was? Um, yeah, I, I forgot the name of the area. But anyway, I can, I can send you, um, you know, the address if you want to um, you know, visit. Or we may actually have a small tour, group, of, group tour to the Oxford. Yeah, that might be good. So um, that's why we have the right answer is the bishop's mitre goes to the south, queen's crown goes to the north. Now, Ronnie is going to count, Ronnie is going to count and um, write it down all the names. She is going to send me, and I'm going to print the names out, and then I'm going to ask my son to pick it up, and then one name he picks is going to have these beautiful gifts. And then to the winner, I'm going to send, um, we're going to send you um, a message. So um, if you just send me, um, you know, your address, if you're not living around here, we're going to post this gift to you. And then otherwise, uh, we're going to arrange, you know, a, a suitable time and then, you know, a day. So congratulations um, to the winner. Yes, Ida Cowley. Thank you. Thank you, my wife. Yes, if you go to the Cowley, and that is a, a full of, you know, ex, you know um, interesting things. But, um, you know, parish church in Cowley has that stained, you know, um, possibly St. Andrews. I've, I forgot the name of the church where the um, uh, Boxing Bebe got married. You know, the Boxing and, and, and the Bebe. Their, their people, th these are the people's name. And uh, we remember the church as a boxing and then Bebe's wedding, you know, church. It was great fun. Anyway, that's another day. So, uh, yeah, I explained things to you. And then there are, you know, a couple of other things um, that you may feel interesting, you know. You may feel interested in, in, in knowing that. So I'm quite happy to explain, you know, things to you. Don't worry, I'm not going to explain again um, oh, for, um, with, um, you know, the vestments. It's already done, okay? Now, my brothers and sisters, um, today, any birthday? Any birthday today? Let's see, any birthday? Oh, Carol, yes, it's really interesting. Yep, well, I've got a couple of other stuff to share. So if there is any, you know, anyone who celebrated a birthday, just let me, let me know now uh, so that I can sing, um, you know, a happy birthday song um, to that person. And I should have actually asked. I should have asked, um, you know, this question, you know, at the beginning, but, you know, I forgot. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Nowadays, yeah, age. <laughs> I look younger than my age, by the way, and that's why I'm struggling. Uh, yeah, let's see who is celebrating the birthday. I know the Gemma um, celebrated, um, oh, it's your son's birthday, Richard. Richard's birthday today. I know the Gemma's, you know, the birthday was last Saturday. We didn't do, um, you know, um, you know, you know, thoughts for the night on a Saturday, so I sent a message to her to celebrate, but, you know, I'm terribly sorry. But let's say we can sing the happy birthday to Gemma Belated and Richard, who's celebrating her birthday today. It's a Maureen Sodgson's son. That's very good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gemma and Richard. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy belated birthday to you, Gemma, and happy birthday to you, Richard. May God bless you all richly, and may your life be filled with love and joy. <laughs> now, dear my brothers and sisters, oh, 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 Susan, I'm very sorry because, you know, well, not until November, <laughs> wait, we may still doing <laughs> this live streaming <laughs> by then. But, you know, who knows? You know, who knows? Let's play by ear. Um, today, I know many people mention this particular song, particular song, 
and then many people said, um, okay, that, you know, this hymn is so special to, to me, and then, yes. So I know this is, I already sang, a, well, I've been singing this one for many times, but I think I have to sing again. Um, I, before I've come here today um, to the church for this live streaming, I heard um, a very sad um, the news um, um, of, you know, passing of one of my friends, and then, um, yeah, so I was a little bit, you know, down, but, yeah, I feel better. I think, you know, I really want to sing this, you know, song called Amazing Grace. Yeah, Amazing Grace. And then, I'm sure, if you know Amazing Grace, um, if you know the lyrics, please join me in, in singing. And if you don't know the lyrics, if you can't remember, I've got very bad memories, so I can't remember. But yeah, it's a time for you to Google it now. Yeah, amazing grace, amazing grace. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> oh, by the way, before I sing, let me actually light the candle. Rather, rather good. Lovely. <clears throat> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Saved a wretch like me. I was was lost, but now I'm found. Blind, but now I see amazing grace, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I have already 
save thus far and grace will lead me home when we Shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first. Be gone. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. lost but now I'm found was blind but now I Now is the time for us to say a prayer together. Shall we say this prayer for those who have gone to heaven tonight? O oh God, from whom all holy desires <clears throat> all good counsels and all just works to proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Enlighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And I'm going to read the Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He shall feed me in a green pasture and lead me forth beside the waters of comfort. He shall convert my soul and bring me forth in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Thou shalt prepare a table before me against them that trouble me. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, and my cup shall be full. But thy loving kindness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for ever. 
Amen. And shall we say the grace together? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all for evermore. Amen. Ah, now I feel much, much better now. Now, my brothers and sisters, congratulations. I don't know who is going to be the winner. It's all hands of God. <laughs> it's beyond my ability to control. Maybe God may work through the hands of my son Stephen. <laughs> so wait for, um, wait for me for tomorrow's you know, thoughts for the night. And then um, for those who don't know, don't know yet, um, for those who are new to us, um, before you leave, you have to actually find, before you actually switch off, you may spend some more time on Facebook, but you know, before you leave this, you know, our church page, um, please check one of your comments, and then you will find someone who left a comment above you and below you. We're going to pray for both of them. Tonight, we pray for grace. Yeah, we sang amazing grace, amazing grace. So let's say, um, dear God, I pray for Susan tonight. She may experience your amazing grace whenever she actually, whatever she does. May her life is full with your grace. We ask this, I ask this, I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for Sharon tonight. Her life may be filled with your grace. And wherever she goes, she may be the person who shares your grace with others. She may be the living example of your grace to others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So this is how we pray. You don't need to say a long prayer. Yeah? God already knows. But we are the community who prays for each other to support each other. So tonight, that is a new lesson. And then well done, again, those who actually got that north and south right. And then the tomorrow, I hope you have a very specially good Tuesday. <laughs> it should be my day off tomorrow, but Church Warden always called um, the gardening party on Tuesday, so I can't disappear. <laughs> but if you're around, please come and support our gardening. That's from 10 o'clock until um, 1 o'clock-ish. You may see me just walking around. May, you may be able to see me serving the tea and coffees. But I'm going to see you otherwise. I'm going to see you all tomorrow night. Have a lovely night, my brothers and sisters. May God bless you. Okay? Enjoy the rest of the day. Cheers. <laughs> Bye for now.